Hello folks and welcome to another fun packed episode of You Done Screwed Up AA Damien. So, as you guys know, when you take something apart and you've all the parts out, no matter how much you try, there's always a part left over. And it won't be until the most inopportune time that you find out just what that part that you thought, nah, they were just, you know, this is just extra stuff, you know, unnecessary. Now you find out, much to your displeasure, what that part does. Allow me to demonstrate. So here I have parts. Open the bag to keep all my parts in the bag. I shall remove the offending article. Ooh, look at this. You can even look through. Look at that. So, because this seems to be the cool thing to do now to show people close ups. You have to put your hand here like this and go, ooh, look at that. Now, so, some kind of weird metal ring thing. Bonus points if you can figure out what this thing does. Because I've already figured out what it does and it's kind of important. So, Without further ado, let's go see. Okay. Up for experimentation today, we have our trusty Gen 2 Prius Trans Axle with the expertly TIG welded power split device. Mounted on top of which, we have our Gen 3 Prius inverter converter with with our sexy new open source logic board controlling all of its many myriad of fun packed functions. So let's give it some gas. First of all, we've got to give it some electricity or it'll just sit there looking at me and I look like an even worse moron. So Let's give it some electricity, wind up the variac, nothing like some rectified mains to get the old uh, ele electrons flowing. And I will proceed to bring on the power. Oh, it's turning. Oh, look. Now it's turning faster. More gas. More gas. Oh, this is so cool. More gas. Oh no, what's that shaking? Oh no, there's something wrong. There's some kind of weird rattling sound in here. What could that possibly be? Well folks, the weird rattling sound is being caused by the MG1 stator, because it's shaking in and out, by roughly the thickness of this goldarned piece of metal ring thingy. So it turns out that this goldarned piece of metal ring thingy is designed to regulate the end float of the MG1 stator. And when you don't have it in there, as you speed things up in your high spec transaxle, it starts to vibrate back and forth in time with the magnetic field that's being induced into the stator by our sexy inverter converter. So, I will not be getting invited for a guest speaking appearance at Weber State University, that is for damn sure. Um, but in the meantime, uh, let me give you guys some shaky cam close ups of our setup here, and uh, then we'll wrap things up. That sound good to you? Sounds good to me, so let's do it. So, star of the show today is this eBay um, submersible pump uh, that for the last hour has been running here while I've been tuning the drive unit, let's call it, and has started to produce less and less water flow, but more and more noise. So that is definitely a, a positive thing. Good job, I bought two of them. Um, as we saw, here we have a nice shaky cam close-up of our 
high spec, low price drive unit thingy, which may or may not be going in a front wheel drive car, also known as a Toyota Celica, but don't tell anyone. Right. So, Gen 2 transaxle, as I said, with the welded up um, power split device and the missing end float controller from MG1, or it could even be MG2, no, it's MG1, I'll tell you how much I know. So, logic board is in there, we are connected to the MG2 output, the inverter converter, we have coolant flow going through it, because these inverter converters have got virtually no aluminium heat sinking in here, or aluminium for our friends across the pond. Um, so without coolant flow, they will heat up quickly. And regardless of whether you pay attention to the temperature sensors, the uh, Toyota people in there, in their cool ASIC uh, gate drive chips, decide that, hmm, it's time to shut this thing down because some moron is obviously ignoring our temperature sensor, please. So, on the back uh, here, ooh, let's put our hands in that. Mm, this is real electro boom stuff that we have going on here because it wouldn't take much for that um, to flip around and crack off the casing and yeah, that would end badly. Um, so we've uh, some AC from our trusty mains coming in here and our Variac. It's converted to DC by the rectifier and fed directly into the high voltage DC bus lines of our inverter converter presently. We have a whopping 156 volts DC uh, on our DC bus. And we have our couple of simple signals rigged up to the inverter converter and the logic board. We've got our resolver uh, with some screen cable coming back in here. We have our trusty all time favorite E46. Ooh, Hall Effect throttle pedal. And uh, so it's kind of a BMW. Toyota um, joint venture that we have going on here today. So we can motor away pleasantly here. We're driving along in our automobile. Let's get you in here for the old MG1. Oh no, it's shaking. So, yeah, I can see myself having to undo the old Fipig again. Uh, so that's great because that stuff's about 60 euros a tube. Um, so I don't think I will be using the original equipment spec again. Um, also then we have to go ahead and get MG1 connected up and get the two of them pulling their weight together. Uh, but right now this is pretty much um, what we've got. And I'm very interested to see that it's quite important with these permanent mag motors particularly to ground the casing otherwise you get lots of noise on the resolver signal and you don't get to drive along in your automobile so that is about it guys that's what we got for you today um, hope you're enjoying all of these various crappy videos So until next time, do not forget to like, share and subscribe, or if you prefer, dislike, unshare and unsubscribe. Check links in the description for GitHub, um, Patreon, PayPal, Open Inverter Forum and my trusty web shop. So I will leave you at that. And until we meet again some dull day. Uh, happy Prius Transaxle taking apart again.